It's time to divide, Brad. You're gonna cut me in half? That's right. That what you're saying? We're gonna bisect you. Okay. Should've just named the game Bisect. Mm. Maybe that was trademarked. Yeah, it might have been, might have been. I'm surprised they were able to get divide. Yeah, to be honest, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, a pretty good word for a game name. Uh, so, th th right out of the gate here, there's a thing here with the interface that I think that's is kind of fascinating about this game, is that in that R2 is like the action button in huh. everything. Every menu, every, like the, the interface, all this other stuff is based around uh, this soulless interface. Yes. Uh, so even here is is I'm using the right stick to move to something and hitting R2 to activate it and And all this other stuff uh, that kind of ties into the the game itself. Okay um, some Cyber stuff some cyber stuff um, Yeah, this game I uh, we saw this game. I feels like a, a good long while ago very long time ago. Yeah, this is uh, this is made by Giant Bomb acquaintance, Chris Tilton. Right. Full, yes. full disclosure. Yeah. Uh, he came in here, and fr and friends, obviously. Yeah, he didn't yeah. Make it by himself. He right. Had some people working with him. But, yeah. Uh, uh, they came in here last GDC, I think. Yeah, I think. I want to say right. it's yeah. about a year ago, with an early version of this. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious to see how it turned out. Yeah. So this is pretty early on. Uh, still kind of. Kind of focus on stuff. So you're this guy, and you have a uh, a wife who has uh, passed away in a mysterious accident, and a daughter, and uh, a guy that's a lab assistant uh, or, or a, a a lab a former coworker of your deceased wife shows up with this briefcase and says, "You need to hang on to this." Mm. And then there's a sphere in it, and then you activate the sphere, and you're magically teleported to someplace else to here. Uh, yeah, and also you've installed contact lenses that let you kind of see stuff in the world. That sounds um, useful. Yeah, and you you glance things, uh, so we can kind of then you wave your arms around. Yeah, so it's kind of this this uh, your little AR interface that this guy's doing hmm. as you're kind of seeing this stuff, which is it's cool. Uh, all right, we're gonna exit the station here. And move on. Uh, yeah, so there's, you know, the objects you can interact with, uh, kind of stuff. Uh, but it's kind of a stealth game. Okay. Uh, we ran into this guy while uh, exploring this area, and that was a little surprising. But uh, but he just we're we're going around with him now. Uh, Dude, this a is a while. stealth game. What are you doing? All right. Well, he he's just going to take care of business. He did he did not get the memo. He did not get the the stealth memo. Um, so I can get up behind. Oh wait, there's another rope. There's another one. And another one. Oh, okay. I've got a gun. Boy, I don't remember how to use it though. Maybe I don't have a. Anyway, well. Oh, you know what? I don't have a gun. This in the prologue, you have a gun. Maybe I don't have it yet. Uh, okay. So let's just. Hightailing it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you kind of have these in-game menus, like I use that to unlock that door. Uh, and then here's a, a station. You kind of check in at locations, and it'll give you some currency, and uh, you're kind of filling out a codex uh, with information as you go as well. It's got kind of a cool look. The, the mechanic is interesting, like this stuff. Uh, so like I can basically slip up behind a robot and use my abilities here to, like, disable the robot mm. and stuff like that. All right. Looks like we... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I remember this. I think he showed this part last year. Well, great. But it was not finished. And now it is. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of don't know what to expect. A late title Expect card. a late title card. All right. That's, that's what. Nice. All right, friend. Easy now. Clearly, you are far from home. Okay. And now this guy has turned on me. Let's not do this. Fella, I'm going to need those eyes of yours. 
Hand over your lips. What's your eyes? Huh? I need my eyes, yeah. man. Garrett, come on. I don't think I can part it with those. Have to be like this. We can just we can just nothing. I'm the one holding the gun, right? No, I need for you to hand me your lenses and your jacket. Why the jacket? Do that, and I might just hand you your life. Look, uh, maybe I can help you. I don't have time for this. We're done talking. Shoot me in the jacket. Uh, whoa! Uh, wait. Oh hey. Oh, hello. I'm not with him. Don't shoot. I can see that. She's got a large Who gun. Are you with? Yeah. Nobody. Nothing. I, I don't know this place. I, I don't know anyone here. Look, I, I need your help. I mean, more help. Nobody is this far out alone. No one looking like you, at least. I wasn't alone. I, I mean, I was. Have you seen a little girl? My daughter. I lost her. I... I got knocked out. I haven't. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. There was a flash of light and I woke up wherever this is. Locked out, huh? Were you attacked? No, I was... I was home. And then somehow, I, I don't know, I ended up here. Did you meet anyone inside? Just that guy you shot. Huh. No one else. Wait, hush. We've got to get inside now. You don't want Walk to be on that dude's the body. Starts flying. What about him? Didn't he just try to kill you? Come on. Shut the door. Oh. Hurry. I uh, how do I do that again? Maybe behind that desk. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Right. What the hell was that? I don't know, something big. Thanks for out there. I don't know what the hell is going on. Clearly. What are you doing out here? Why, are you looking to rob me too? Trust me, I have no interest in your jacket. Not my style. It's so not. It's not a great jacket. Yeah. You... I don't know. Some vest thing went off or something, and then I woke up here. Went off how? Where? It's complicated. Why are you here? I keep asking myself that. This whole mess has Alton stink all over it. Alton, you know him? Did he send you word to meet him here too? Meet here? No, he just gave me this case and said, I'll con contact you later. Yeah, sounds like Alton. All okay. right, he's obviously a no-show, and we're in a very restricted vestige facility, so we need to get out of here sooner than later. Well, the exit is right here. It seems quiet now. Pretty sure we're sealed in from the sound of it, but I don't have any lenses to check. Oh, am I going to have to hack every one of these doors manually? Damn it. Actually... I think I can help with that. I got oh, the cyber eyes. Yeah. All means. Error. Service needed. Oh. Huh, oh, you're right. I'm only getting errors. Figured. Anyway, what we really need is a maglev. Maglev? Wait, what year is it? Huh. <laughs> you did knock your head. It's 109. 109 what? 2109? I don't even know what you're asking. Do you even know your name? Yes, I know my name. It's David. Do you know yours? I'm Eris. Look, I'm not sure what they know, but I guarantee we are not welcome here. All right. To Good to know that this was a different time and pl like kind of they they show some stuff about the world in the intro to the game, mm -hmm. and it is not this side. You know, you're in a regular okay. ass train station. Ah. Kind of, you know, it's you're in a regular ass house. It's, it's futuristic, but not necessarily this far. Okay. Uh, Including trains. Done a little time travel. Yeah, something like that. Why don't you take these lenses and I'll take the gun? That's a terrible idea. Did an auto labor scramble your brain? I think I've had enough weapons pointed at me for one day. Duly noted. But still, you unlock doors, I'll shoot. So seems like a good partnership. There's some stuff with the perspective here in terms of just like this isometric view and, and the way some of these staircases work and some yeah. of the doors and stuff that like it's 
I feel like it's, it's sometimes it's a little hard to parse yeah. the environment. I, I kind of see what you mean. Um, a little bit of a jitter going on. Yeah, yeah. Also, like that too. Here and there. Uh, Use your lenses to look for signs pointing to security. That should be our first stop. So yeah, if I get oh wait, 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 wait. shoot shoot the robot. Well you just shoot. Can you hack it? Uh so I, I think I need move? to be I need to be closer. Oh boy. This place. Garrett said it was a vestige building. It's vestige, all right. Not the kind of place you want to get caught trespassing. So yeah, the, the idea is I kind of want to get up behind it. I see. Somebody had to have brought me here. And I was oh, and or she could just shoot. Or she could just shoot it. You it sounds it's like you kind of have to get behind it and then activate no, the menu. Like it's it's kind of a weird. Went off. Or something. I don't even know where here is. The buildings, they're not right. God, all right. Everything. Everything's not right. That seemed pretty right. Yeah, well, it's, we handled it in our own special way. You are in. All right. Like, like this case of like, I. Oh wait, yeah. there's a rail there. I can't. I can't yes. quite walk around it. I kind, of, uh, I kind of see what you mean. Like, there's just things about the environment that are tricky. Yeah. Like, oh, I guess it's not. There's not enough room behind that chair for me to get around it. It seemed like there would be. Oh, and I can't even use that term. Oh, when I get there. All right. The supervisor's terminal. I bet we can find what we need in there for a higher clearance. Check it out. Yeah, no dice, it seems. Damn. Okay, we need a control locus. There has to be one nearby. Sure. Sounds. Yeah. Yeah, like I like, I like a lot of the design. Like this idea of like the representing augmented reality, I guess, as this kind of like swirl the right stick and kind of you know, like a flashlight that illuminates secret things in the environment is, yeah. a, is a cool thing. Um. Yes, a command table. Let's see what you can access. It's like a map, and some other commands I can't access. That's a start. Let's find that control locus, and then we can dig in further. Okay. Uh, I can't really do anything there, so... Uh, yeah, so you kind of... As you go around the world and do stuff, you, you're kind of filling out... Logs. Logs. Um. I didn't really see anything on that map that said, here's the, where the thing you're looking for is. I was hoping she would pipe up with that information as soon as we got out of that view. But maybe it's in locus access. This looks promising. set up quick. A package should pop up on the locus in a sec. Okay. That lady just said sci-fi words and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. Set. There should be a download package on the control locus. Oh, 
Oh, so I wonder if this is almost like some kind of hub of like how many terminals there are around the game that you've brought online or something. How many are connected? Okay. That's cool. Not really. We're ah. in business. As long as I'm connected, you'll be able to extract hashes from just about any terminal. Once we have enough, what we hashes are we talking about? Mm. Scattered, yeah, smothered, smothered, covered, chopped, screwed. Hash cost one, needed one. Gave me a hash. So servers to local frame, frame local, primary frame key required. Software downloaded, no hashes, so siphoned. Okay, so that's, I guess we need to find one more hash to link the west offices and then we'll be able to move on. Hmm. Force the data extract on all the way mine, okay. There's some hashes. Just look around for terminals and wave at them? We call it glancing. Well, I'm not hunting for terminals until I get one of those guns. I still think that's a terrible idea. If you say we need these hashes to get anywhere in here, fine. Happy to help. But I need to be able to defend myself from those creepy robots. That seems All like right, sa a sound. Fine. I better not regret this. You gonna arm Have yourself? Yeah. One of these before? Probably a good idea. Not exactly, but. I've spent some time at the range. It's on the heavy side, which helps keep it steady. Basically a long-range stun gun. It'll make sparks fly on auto labors, but it'll knock a person out cold. So don't shoot at anything human, meaning me. Got it. If you need anything else, just come find me. I'll be here, digging up whatever I can find. Okay, so that... Drawn the gun. But I'd rather see if I can just disable these things because they're just on this, these patrol routes, really. Yeah, I kind of see what you're talking about with the background. Yeah, though. some of it's there's like it's a couple spots where I thought you were about to go around the corner totally, and you right. went behind something instead. Yeah. Uh, connect terminals, connect engineer. Okay, connect engineer terminals. It seems like something I would should do. I need more hashes for the data stuff. Yeah, like I thought I was going to be able to walk up here. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what I was talking about. That looks like a path through there. But none... Yeah. Mm -hmm. That... That is unfortunate. Because uh, that is... Been a, a fairly frequent issue. It's a pretty high hash cost. It shouldn't be that expensive. Okay, was there more over here, or was it just... I already did that. Okay. I, 
I wish I had a better sense of what this was doing, honestly. Like, I get the impression that I'm supposed to be linking all these terminals together. And maybe there's... Is there a card in here that's... Uh, you extract hash tables from just about anything, but only if it's online. Terminals are connected to the local server, then connect to the Locust. Use the Locust to bring local servers online, then use the servers to bring the local terminals online. Locust to servers to terminals. When something more secure gets in the way, use hash tables to breach the security. We can only siphon hash tables when I'm connected near a Locust. Yeah, but why? Hmm. I don't know, man. What do you think? Hmm. I'm not sure. Connect data terminals to local frame. And then also with some of this interface being kind of small like this, like, and and mixed in with all the other AR stuff on screen, like sometimes yeah. these little radial menus that pop up when you get near something are are a little difficult to suss out. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can find a robot and at least get some shooting in here before we call it, uh, just so you can get a. Shooting and or hacking? Yes, shooting Have or, you successfully hacking. hacked a robot? I have, yeah. Okay. Uh, I was not having a lot of trouble with it there for a little bit, but... But again, it, it, yeah, it's sort of... You know, you're, you're kind of having to navigate a radial menu. Like, you, you kind of have to walk up, start the hack, just like you would open this door or something like that. You have to... Uh, you know, shut down the robot. Just hope it doesn't turn around on you. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, maybe get your chance. Can you crouch? Is there like going into a stealth mode or? No, anything? it's really just like, are you behind it or yeah. not? Yeah. So if we can get up here like this. Uh, oh, this has a hash cost now. Oh. That's. Ah, just shoot it. I shot it. Yep. It didn't nope. seem nope. too phased by nope. that. What if you shot it again? What if I shot it again? I, okay. There you go. All right, there's another robot. You have a lot of ammo on that thing? Not a ton. Uh, you see the, in the upper left is some of the, uh, the yes. gun stuff. Yes. And now I'm just getting... Getting zapped. Yeah. So can I, do I have to go back here now and extract? Yeah. Extract local. <sighs> Positive point accumulation. Yeah. V point rewards. Yeah, so if I have to go back to all these terminals that I've been to before and now, like, extract more hashes. Hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah, th there's some cool stuff going on with this game, but I. I will say that sitting down here to play it with you, I am slightly less certain about it mm -hmm. uh, than I was before we started. All right, and I got a capacitor out of this dead robot. Um, I wonder if I can just go back all the way to the start here, because there were terminals over here and So suspend like that. Oh, so you can't take control of it. You can no, just shut it down. Uh, and and you know I, I don't know if there are later abilities that kind of change what you can do, but yeah. Is that thing facing me? That's I, another good question. I'm not sure. Like kind of looking at. I guess um, I have to look at. Oh, now oh, it, it totally now, is facing. Now it is. I can say definitively. No, I just turned it back on. That's bad. Shh. Well, hey, well, okay. There you go. Worth it. Yeah. Oh. 
I thought, I thought it was going to turn the other robot back on for a second. Yeah. Shadows look nice. Yeah. Where are you going? I got unfinished business. I, just, I can't. I can't turn it off apparently. That works. <laughs> yeah. So you know this kind of stealth of, of you know making your way around these robots as they go on their kind of standard patrol routes. Yeah. You, know, you have some abilities to to handle them. Sure. Um. And yeah, I don't know. The story is interesting. Like this, this world seems kind of cool. Uh, oh, okay. So these lockers, I could not get into them earlier, and now I can. You're a hacker. Yeah, I, yeah you're hacking, hacking those lockers. lockers. Yeah, of course. Uh, it appears I got nothing out of those lockers, right? Mm. Oh no, I guess I got some capacitors. Okay. Is this uh, is out on PC as well? Uh, no, no, I, no, I think just it is PS4 just right PS4 now. right now. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got some more capacitors to capacitate with. Um, yeah, I don't know. There are there are definitely things that that I want to. Keep make me want to keep going, yeah. uh, but there just are yeah like some of the clunky stuff with the just the, I mean the camera angle the, the nature yeah. of it kind of oh hey that's that's a living robot still still going later, um, like just aspects of navigating the environment seem uh, maybe a little harder than they should be sure uh, I can see that and some of the menu stuff seems a little unclear I don't know I don't know all right well. Kind of cool, but yeah, I don't know. It's got some stuff <laughs> for sure, too. Uh, anyway, a mixed bag. Uh, sure, something like that is what you're saying. Yeah, maybe we'll see where it goes. All right. Uh, all right. Well, thanks, Brad. Yep.